MTA Previewer 2019. So, with complete solution and explanation. So, ang questions po na to, skaling sa MTA 2019 elimination round. So, pang number 19 na po ito. For more for more videos po, please um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button below. Okay, number one questions. There are 2,424 math books in the library. This 20% of the books in the library. How many books in the library are not math books? So, in this situation, this problem, ang 2,424 ay mga math books, which is 20% daw ng mga aklat sa library. So, ang tanong, how many books um, in the library na kung saan hindi math? Okay, so this is the solution. So, 20%, i-convert muna natin sa decimal. So, we have 0.20. So, yun yung 2,424 na math books. So, ibig sabihin, mayroong 80% na not math books. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, 2,424 divided by 0.20. So, that is 12,120. Um, all books in the library. And then, yung all books in the library, minus natin sa 20% na math books, which is 2,424. So, 12,120 minus 2,424 equals 9,696. So, ibig sabihin, mayroon tayong 900,696 na not math books in the library. The average of 40 numbers is 38. If 3 numbers are discarded, namely 40, 24, and 50, what is the average of the remaining numbers? Uh, let's have the solution. Let x be the numbers. So, we have x over 40. Um, it is equal to 38. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng x, which is the total numbers, for the total sum of, uh, yes, the total numbers, we have x equals 38 times 40. And 38 times 40 is 1,520. So, our x is 1,520. So, ang next na gagawin is to add the three numbers, 40 plus 24 plus 50 equals 114. So, since tatlo yun, and then yung average um, may meron tayong 40 numbers kanina, tinanggal yung tatlo, so we have only 37 now. So, next step, yung 1,520 kanina, na, which is the total numbers, uh, minus 114. It is equal to 1,406. Yun yung total numbers ngayon, na kung saan bawas na yung tatlong numbers na 40, 24, at 50. And then, kunin na natin uli yung average. Okay, which is 1,406 divided by 37 kasi nabawasan na ng tatlo. It is equal to 38. So, the remaining numbers is an average of 38. Okay, next question. What is the ninth term in the sequence? 2, 5, 10, 17, 26, 37, 50. Since sequence, let's observe the pattern. So, our first term is 2 followed by 5 and second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So, ang hahanapin natin is ninth term. So, kung yung observe natin yung pattern, um, the difference of 2 and 5 is 3. 5 and 10 is 5, 10 and 17 is 7, 17 and 26 is 9, 26 and 37 is 11, 37 and 50 is 13. So, kung titignan natin yung pattern, um, those are um, odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers. We have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Okay, it means na mag add tayo ng next Add numbers. So, 50, the next add number is 15. So, 50 plus 15 is 65. So, that is 8th term. 
And then, we're going to add another odd numbers. Yung next sa 15 is 17. So, 65 plus 17 is 82. Therefore, the ninth term is 82. Thank you for watching everyone. So, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button below for more videos. So, mayroon pa pong ibang mga videos from number 1 to number 18. Thank you.